I'm proud to announce Masood Shahanai, soccer slash football 2.0. Welcome, Masood. This is a surprise for you. <laughs> I thought it was to take sandwiches home. <laughs> Well, I again met with Uncle Google and Auntie Vicky. <laughs> you know, every time you meet these guys, you learn something about them. Did you know that they have a daughter called Vicky Halpert? <laughs> and then they actually, they were going to, uh, they were telling me that they got somebody in the neighborhood, which is, they have a son. His name is Chad GTD. Oh. AI, new AI search engine. And they were, they called him intruder, but I called him a competitor. So I had a chat with Chad and came up with some, I'm going to use him as uh, my resources today. He's quite smart, he pants, sometimes. <laughs> so today I'm not going to do the debate. I'm just, I missed last time because of the time to talk about the organization behind football and soccer. Today I'm going to talk about more factual and a little bit more serious, not too much, but a little bit serious. And then uh, see what organizations are behind football and soccer. Now, did you know that actually Canadian football is different than American football? For a long time, I thought that because we have NHL, that we have Americans and Canadians play together, NFL would be the same thing. But no, 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 no. They would not let us in. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not going to uh, complain about it. I'm just going to stick to the facts. I'm going to talk about CFO first. CFO was found in 1958. We only have nine teams in it. Although CFL and NFL, they are played in the same field, it looks like the same. There are two goalposts at the end. But CFL fields are larger. It's like our own hearts. <laughs> and we have three downs versus four downs in 10 years of advancing. In ten yard advance, so I believe it's a, it's a tougher game. I don't know. I think we are tough. Our seasons run from June to November. The reason is because after that, either everybody is hibernating with the public sleeping in the public <laughs> on the ice, or they're watching hockey. <laughs> and our biggest. A uh, championship game is a called Grey Cup, which champions play for the first place. Mm -hmm. The very successful teams in CFL are Calgary Stampeders. I don't remember the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little cheer for the Stampeders. Now, NFL was found in 1920 and it was first called American Professional Football Association, APFA. And it was because this difficult, they, in 1922, they changed it to NFL, and this is national. Ironically, NFL, they call it NFL, but they call it American Football League. American Football League has two conferences. One is called ACF, uh, AFC, sorry. AFC and the other one called NFC, which is National uh, Federation, National Football Conference versus American Football Conference. And each one of these conferences are divided in four divisions. And they have 32 teams playing in their NFL. Uh, their main event is Super Bowl. I think you guys watched it. Everybody probably was more interested in Rihanna than yeah. the game itself <laughs> or the results. <laughs> and uh, which they, in fact, play together, both um, 
AFC and NFC, they play together and for the championship, and they go against each other. Now, going to our FIFA. I thought that FIFA is an abbreviation for a English for an English <laughs> term, but no, it's French. <laughs> so it's called Fédération Internationale de Football Association. Did you like my <laughs> If you say it in English, it's actually IFAF, International Federation of Association Football. You bring it to North America, it becomes IFOS, International Federation of Soccer. And then take it to Quebec, it becomes FIS, which is Fédération Internationale de Soccer. Oh, there you go. I said it right. In terms of it was found in 1904. And uh, the reason that it's French, because it was found in Paris, in France. Now their headquarter is in Zurich, uh, Switzerland. Their main, uh, they, of course, they oversee and they organize a lot of international games, uh, uh, soccer games, and they are uh, the organizing body and the governing body for both soccer and beach soccer. Um, the main event is World Cup. We watched it by far one of the most uh, interesting and exciting games I've ever seen. And one interesting uh, statistics I heard, I saw about them, that they have 211 members. That means after the United Nations, they are one of the biggest organizations in the world. They're number two. That's why I think the president was so adamant not to discriminate anybody, because one of their goals is to avoid and circumvent the discrimination and racism and all the bad things that you hear around in these days. Anyway, doesn't matter what uh, game we are talking about, if any kind of a team game, say basketball, football, soccer, they have these messages. They're all about teamwork, practice and hard work. They try to communicate friendship with their audience through their leading uh, entertaining programs and fun events. Do you see the footprints of Toastmasters in there? <laughs> I see. Anyway, so it doesn't matter if, in this case, if you like melon <laughs> or you like watermelon, just enjoy your favorite taste. 